name's Ben Cook and welcome to Angling Info. Hi, this is Ben from Angling Info. Just going to run through a bit of bait prep with you. Got one of my videos um, which is fishing uh, like a meat and hemp, it's like slurry kind of thing. We're fishing uh, cube meat over top. So I'm going to show you how to prep the slurry and I'm going to go through you another one what, which is one of the other videos that we're going to do which is a corn and pellet video but it's how I prep, I've got another kind of slurry, I'm really into this kind of slurry thing, it creates a great cloud, loads of flavour there, not too many particles so it doesn't fill the fish up, brilliant in the summer months, the corn one's even good in the winter if you don't feed too much, um, and you know, it's, it's, it's a big drawer in for your fish, so I'll just show you, because I've, I've already blitzed the corn, so I'll, I'll show you the corn first and then I'll, I'll go on to the meat, so all I've got here is just normal corn, any, any, any tinned corn that you want. And what I've done is I've put it in one of these, one of these blenders, and I've just put it all in with the brine, with everything in it, and just whizzed it up. I haven't took it the full way. If you can see, there's little bits of some are full corn, some are half corns, and that just gives a real attraction, and you know, not too many particles there. The flavour and the cloud it creates is amazing. So all I do is. I fish, I put a, a tiny bit of water in it when I, when I go down to the pond, a bit of lake water and I put some soaked either 2ml micros or 3ml micros in it just to give it, you know, a, a bit of uh, different texture in there and all I'll do is I'll, I'll cut that in and I'll use that as my feed and then fish corn or pellet over the top of it but we'll go into that detail when we have the video so I'll go on to the meat, the brand I use is this one? It's a, it's the cheapest I've found, and it's from Lidl, and it's it's brilliant. Um, not bad flavour, to be fair. I wouldn't be bothered about eating it myself. It tastes it tastes fine. It tastes really nice. But it's also it's high. In, it's got a high fat content and jelly content. So when you blend it up, there's lots and lots of fats and and flavour floating around in the cloud. It makes it just the fish go mental for it. So all I do with it, really simple, is any way you want, just chop it up. If I were going to do it. So we're going to do it for um, for the hook. I mean, you can run it through a meat cutter, absolutely perfect, you know, for a hook if you want consistent. But sometimes consistency for me, in regards to a hook bait, it, sometimes I did an odd shape one can draw a bigger fish. So you'll end up with ones with just bang on four mil, some that are a bit bigger, some that are a bit smaller. And also all I do is cut a slice off like that, and then I cut it into four, four pieces like that, and then I just cut down like that, and then you end up, you know, with these nice, these nice little pieces, so you, you've got all different sizes, some are a bit bigger, some are a little smaller, so, you know, you've got a bit of varied variation, so that's what I do for the hook baits, um, and this this kind of meat as well sticks on really well, as as well on the hook, it, you know, it'll survive a couple of three strikes maybe, before it comes off, I mean, hopefully you won't need three strikes, it, you know, they'll be on straight away, um, and uh, it's soft enough to, to withstand that, you can hair rig it or, you can um, put it straight on the hook as well, it's soft enough to pull through. So all, all I'm doing, for this I'm going to do it in two batches because I'm doing it for my friend and for myself. So I want a batch, a batch each. So all I've done is there, just rough cut it, just to give, um, just to give the blender an head start. And all you're doing then is just whizzing it up. That's simple as that. So what you're left with is is basically like a it's just a paste. I mean, it, it's it's it looks a pretty grim to be fair. Um, if you've got some meat additives, I mean, you can add them, but I'm not. I don't always use additives. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing if that's what you want to do and you get good results, go for it. Um, but all I'll do with that now is pour it into a bait tub and I'll mix um, a full tin of hemp in, just a standard size tin or a little mini bag of cooked hemp and a touch of water, not loads, but that'll slurry it up and it'll make it fantastic. If you, When you watch the meat video, I'll go through how it's mixed and you'll be able to see the finished product where it's, you know, if you've not already seen it before, you'll see how it looks. But that it's as simple as that. Now all I'll do with that is put it in a bag and take it to bank and that's it. So uh, have a go yourself. The fantastic methods. The meat one in summer, it's absolutely outrageous. 
um, as is the corn and pellet one. But the, the, all the corn works really well in winter as well. So give it a try. If you've uh, if you get any good results, any pictures, just send them through to me, and we'll post them on on the on the next video that we do from there. Have good luck, tight lines.